not only will it change every other part of your life, but it'll bring the women of your dreams into your life. I believe personally that naturals, guys that get the hottest, most beautiful, most confident women in the world, are guys that are really comfortable with their sexual turn on. They're not just, they're turned on for life, they're turned on and have passions for something, and they're turned on for the women in their life, and women feel it. Why you should work on your sexual confidence when you don't even have a girlfriend? This is a question that's come in the past, and it's really powerful and really important. If you wanna get a girlfriend, you wanna have a great sex life, you gotta kind of become the thing that you want before you're gonna be able to pull it into your life. You have to be able to get turned on and believe in yourself sexually before that girl will usually show up in your life. If she does show up and you have no sexual confidence, that could be a serious problem in your relationships. Now, not only does this affect your relationships, but it'll also affect every other area of your life. You see, sexual confidence, the ability to feel turn on, especially down here in this part of your body, to be able to drop into that part of your body and enjoy it, enjoy your cock, enjoy your balls, enjoy your sexual energy, is synonymous with your creative energy. You see, sexual energy can create a baby, but it creates everything else too. It's what Napoleon Hill called sexual transmutation. It's the ability to feel turned on for what you're doing. If I can get turned on for creating my business, I can get turned on for my art, I can get turned on for my music, I can get turned on for my day, then the motivation to get out of bed and do stuff becomes very powerful. Turn on is one of the most powerful transmutative energies there is. That's why it's called sexual transmutation. It causes us to want to step into the tension and start the catalyst, which is stepping into tension that starts to create everything we create in reality. Falling in love with something is one thing, but you can be in love with something and just sit there and admire it. It's with turn on that we actually take action. If you've seen the movie or the documentary Pumping Iron with Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's been quoted as saying, I'm coming all the time. I'm coming when I'm crossing the street. I'm coming when I'm curling, you know? What he's saying there is I'm turned on for life. I'm turned on for everything. And if you've seen him in later videos where he's out either acting or I remember this great video where he was uh, running for the governor of California and he gets hit by an egg on his, on his jacket as he's walking her down the street. Somebody chucks an egg at him and he just whips that jacket off and keeps going, doesn't even stop. And then somebody asks him later after he gives his talk, which it's like it didn't affect him at all. And they said, well, what do you think about that person that threw the egg? And he said, I think it's awesome. And they go, what do you mean? He goes, well, he has his opinion. It's different than mine. He expressed his opinion. So I think that's what makes this country so great. And that's how he kind of ended it. You know, there was this excitement and this turn on for everything he did in that interview, how he handled the situation, how he moved forward, how he turned it around to his favor. And it was really powerful. Well, this can be brought into every part of your life if you get comfortable with your turn on, with your sexual energy and women feel it. Not only will it change every other part of your life, but it'll bring the women of your dreams into your life. I believe personally that naturals, guys that get the hottest, most beautiful, most confident women in the world, are guys that are really comfortable with their sexual turn on. They're not just, they're turned on for life, they're turned on and have passions for something, and they're turned on for the women in their life, and women feel it. So I'm gonna invite you into working on your turn on. Get out there and make a change. Meditate on this part of your body. Meditate on what yoga would call your second chakra. Zen Buddhism, I believe they call it Dantian. You know, how I started was I literally just meditated on it. I would sit down, and I would explore this part of my body with meditation until I got tingle and warmth all across here and until eventually it dropped down into my groin. And I allowed that heat, that groin, that meditation to build up in my body over time. It started as a really small warm feeling. And with time, I started to expand it. I started to burn off my sexual shame. I also read books like The um, Multi-Orgasmic Man or The Enlightened Sex Manual by David Data. I started to explore these things. If you want to go deeper and you really want to dive deep into facing your insecurities in this area, you can look into uh, the Fearless Sexual Transmutation Workshop where we actually teach you how to transform this energy and project it out in the world. And if you really like this video and you really like what we're talking about, then what I would invite you to do is make some comments below and let me know. Because if I see enough comments, maybe we'll, we'll create a video with a few techniques where we just go over in details a few techniques to help you develop this energy in your life and to bring it into 
uh, reality. So if that's something you would like, make sure you put it in the comment section below. And with that said, if you got any value out of this, you got any more questions other than that, also put it in the comment section below. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button. And remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.